I get calls sometimes with regard to social media where somebody says I feel threatened and, and what they're reporting is really not a threat. It's that somebody called them a name or something like that, which is doesn't quite count as a threat. But if there was a real threat, um, from what I understand from other schools that have had that experience with Yik Yak, is that the, the folks at Yik Yak have been very forthcoming in terms of reporting back to the institution um, an IP address or some other form of um, identification so that the student can, I mean, the school can pursue um, addressing that student's behavior. You know, I think our first and foremost response is to do whatever we need to protect our students. So I know in other institutions they've evacuated buildings or canceled classes or whatever if they felt like it was a credible threat. Mm -hmm. And there's a committee of us that would discuss that to determine if that's something we should do. But the next step, of course, is to contact them to figure out who it is that's doing it. You're, usually there's some, and, and quite honestly, I leave that up to the police. <laughs> but, but usually it's a matter of specificity. If they talk about doing something in a particular way, at, in a particular location, at a particular time, those are some of the criteria that are used to establish that. Not the, I'm going to get you all kinds of non-definite threats. Just um, what I would describe as stupidity, um, which, <laughs> which really isn't, a, you know, people, again, students have complained about they've posted this about me or they've posted that about an organization that I'm involved with. And it's not been anything that's a threat. It's just been vulgar, bad taste, those kinds of issues.